All right, guys, I was just about to say I got something a little different for you today. However, it's kind of a lot different. You guys remember Axel? I gotta run to Chad and pick up Nate. We're gonna come back and grab Axel. We're gonna go to the farm. We're gonna start him on some bite work. That should be interesting. Now let me let me just start off here. Axel's a green dog, which means he doesn't really know a whole lot. Nate, he's a green decoy, which means he really doesn't know a whole lot. However, he is catching on quick. So we're gonna head out to the farm. We're gonna do some bite work. Might even try a track or two. And those are just short. Uh, it's basically an intro to tracking and intro to bite work. My shop door just shut on me. Anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to do a little bit of bite work, a little bit of tracking, maybe some obedience. It's windy, so I don't know how well the tracking is going to go. And I'll remember, he's new. It's way, get out of the wind here. way too windy down here to be trying to track. His Kong is over in the tall grass over here. We're going to let him go over there and see if we can find his Kong. Just basic scent work. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Axel, good boy. Good boy. You found it. Oh, good boy, watch 
Should also let you know that Axel's be 24 months old, and we've had him for about eight months. Uh, he had a pretty rough life before he came to us. So in his year and a few months that he was without us, he had zero training. So you'll have to bear with us. We're pretty much starting from scratch. Now this is the second time we've done bite work with Axel. The first time, uh, he needed zero coaching. He he knew exactly what to do, which tells me he may have had a little training and or it's just genetics. But uh, when the sleeve come out. He just went in and bit the sleeve like he was told to, uh, without much instruction. But he's got the skills, we just need to fine tune those skills so that he reacts when he's told to react and does what he's told to do, when he's told to do it. But I will say, he is picking it up rather quick for, his only, for only his second time out. All right, well, that didn't turn out too bad. The last session we did, which I did not videotape, uh, was really well. His bites were a little off today. He was trying to go down near the hand, which is, that can be adjusted with the decoy. It's a matter of keeping your arm up. The obedience, he's not tight. Okay? He's not tight. Um, I'm okay with that. I don't want him, I'm not going to heal with him looking up at me, waiting for my next move, blah, blah, blah. I want his eyes out front. He can feel me. He can feel where I'm at. But I want his eyes out front, not looking up at me. You're not going to see me do the circus act with him healing between my legs while I try and move around. A lot of people aren't going to like that. If someone could show me otherwise where that is a feasible application in the real world, I might look at that. But right now, I need him off to my side. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. If you like that kind of content, let me know in the comments down below. I'll make some more videos like that. Hopefully when it's not so windy. Um, I'm sure the GoPro picked up nothing but wind. But it kind of is what it is. My camera guy, Tyler, was supposed to come out today, but he got tied up and couldn't make it. So... We just had to wing it. And folks, if you like, like I said, if you like that kind of content, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel if you wish to, and we would love to have you along. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.